Hey, in this adventure, we explore five gift ideas for that motorcyclist in your life. Let's avoid the big ideas like a new Goldwing or a trip to Sturgis. Let's discuss uh, more budget-friendly ideas, ranging from the price of $5 to $200. Number one, a Gremlin Bell. Gremlin Bells are part of the biker superstition. The idea is the bell attracts the, grim the road gremlins from off the bike to the bell, but then they're shaken off and that's why we have so many potholes in the road. A very important part of this superstition is you can't buy one for yourself. It has to be a gift. And you can find them ranging from 10 to $15 in all sorts of designs. There's an affiliate link in the description below. Number two, flashlights. Flashlights in the motorcycle world are very important. I need one when I go camping so I can look at my bags, look at my tent, Find the way to the bathroom. Everyone needs a flashlight. You can find good flashlights anywhere from under $10 to over $100, depending on your need. Uh, there's an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. But you can find them almost anywhere. Uh, Ace is a good place. Number three, the do-rag. Now the do-rag can be a little controversial. A lot of people think that they are a symbol of a, a poser or a biker wannabe. And to me, I see them as a layer of protection between my head and the helmet liner. The helmet liner gets really dirty with all the sweat and the grease from your head getting on it as you ride. So the do-rag provides that extra protection. Most of these do-rags do need to be hand washed, but it is still easier than pulling out your helmet liner and washing that. So while the helmet liner can be washed, this just reduces the number of times you need to. There's a wide variety of uh, styles and designs you can get for these. This one came from my uncle, uh, but you can get them between like $5 for one or I've seen eight packs for 20 bucks. And again, affiliate link in the description. Number four, balaclava. If you know a motorcyclist who rides in the cold or gets cold, balaclava is a great gift. They fit tightly over your head, providing a layer of warmth and wind protection. You can spend under 10 for these, but $20 seems to be where the good ones are. Uh, affiliate link in the description. Number five is heated gear. So speaking of that rider who rides in the cold, this is a must have. So if you'd like to spend a little bit more money on that rider in your life, think about some heated gear. I believe Warm and Safe makes the best stuff out there. They also make it for First Gear, another really good brand. Basically the way it works, Depending on what you get, you, uh, you plug it into the bike. Uh, the one I have has a uh, wireless controller I can mount on the bike. So once it's plugged in, it has all the power it needs to heat up. I believe this is a 90 watt uh, jacket. And this jacket also has a cord that plugs into the glove liners. Or you can buy heated gloves. I like the glove liners so I can be a little more flexible on what exactly I'm wearing out there. So I just returned from a four-day motorcycle trip in Appalachians with my dad. I've used all this gear. Uh, and if you stuck around this far, I have a gift for you. It's a bonus item. Yep, for sticking around as long as you have, this is my gift to you. A bonus gift. This is one I don't own but would like to. Hint, hint. Pat Hahn, who I met when I worked with Team Oregon, is a motorcycle safety expert. He's written a lot of books, but there's one in particular that I would really like. Maximum Control is a book for those of us with heavy bikes. It includes advanced riding techniques and practical drills. And in the description, I provided both, both an Amazon affiliate link and a link to where Aerostitch sells it for about $20. If you found this list of gift ideas to be helpful, please consider subscribing and please hit that like button. So until my next adventure, this is Redbeard. See you on the road.